so fascinating to me. You know, just going through some of the stories this morning and, and looking at them, I was looking at this piece um, that was written called The Death of Elitism. Okay, and it talks about a sign, a big sign on the highway between Sharon, Pennsylvania and Masonry, Ohio on US Route 62. And the sign says, you had your chance, it's our turn now. And it talks about how there's a changing face in this country that we may see play out on Tuesday night. And it associates Hillary Clinton with that sort of, you know, yesterday elitism, that sort of inside baseball connected to corporations, connected to banks, connected to things that people in this country are having doubts about these days. Look, that's a, a legitimate uh, grievance in the country. Right now, it's, according to all the polls on the last weekend, it's still a minority, but it's real. And President Hillary Clinton has said, I want to be president of all the American people, including the person who put that sign up. Let me remind you that those signs were up in 2012 and 2008, mm -hmm. and Barack Obama was elected and reelected. But those are genuine grievances, and the Trump supporters should be respected, and President Hillary Clinton will respect that point of view and will contrast her point of view with somebody who is a billionaire businessman who went bankrupt four times and his closing message is he's a businessman. So that's why she's ahead, that's why she will. But you know, it, it also, there's a lot of stories, I'm sure you've seen them over the past few days, talking about what happened to hope and change. You know, what happened yeah. to bringing the country together. And we stand now on the precipice of this election, more divided than I think most of us have ever seen this country in our adult lives. So what does that say about the fact, you say those signs were out there in 2012 and 08. So why were they not heated then? Because what you've got now is a part of this country, a large part, whether they win or lose on Tuesday, who feel very much forgotten in the Democratic leadership. Again, Martha, I always respect your point of view and a feeling that you've just described has to be respected. But let me give you facts, because that's what I do. Right now, Barack Obama has the highest approval rating compared to disapproval, according to Gallup and every pollster next to only one other president who went through the Republican scandal machine, that was Bill Clinton. Right now, Barack Obama has a higher approval rating, so hope and change has a majority in support of Barack Obama. So what you're describing is still a minority viewpoint, which I deeply respect. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my whole point, that, that perhaps minority viewpoint is one yes. that, you know, feels angry and overlooked. And, you and know, must if, be respected. If you want must to be, be president respected. of the whole country, which Hillary Clinton says that she wants to do, it'll yes. be fascinating to see how she tries to do that to the people that she called the basket of deplorables um, not so long ago. So she would have her work cut out for her. Um, um, I, it's nice to end every interview with you, Martha, by saying I agree, but let's look at Tuesday night. And yeah. in terms of baskets, I think that the reason she's ahead in the polls, she's had her difficulties. James Comey, 10 days ago, wrote a letter that said he knew absolutely nothing about anything to do with Hillary Clinton in emails, and she's dropped in the polls. Tuesday night, the American people's verdict will be change. Hillary Clinton, first female president, a working class program that cuts taxes on the wealthy versus the status quo, trickle-down economics. Right. Donald Trump wants to cut his own taxes, but not reveal his own tax right. return. You know they would the take the seat with most American of what history. you just said, but I'm going to leave it there because we don't have somebody on the other side of uh, that campaign. But we'll talk to the Trump campaign later today. Uh, Lenny, I'm thank sure you. I'm sure you will. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. You. We always talk thank to both you, sides, and that's why we love having you on. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you Lenny.